Good morning and welcome to this week's Wednesday with Warbus. I just wanted to get back with you after I gave the presentation on Monday. We were missing a couple of the components. We got those in and I want to show it to you, but I also kind of want to show you where you can uh, send people to get information about the bond. Uh, so we're going to start right here. This is Altus Public School uh, website. So just send people to that website if they will go to bond. And if you want to also do this just to kind of familiarize yourself, it has all kinds of information, but right off the bat, it tells you to be sure and go vote on February the 13th. And then there's all kinds of information down below. So we're going to click on general information first, and it tells just the basic information, how much the bond's going to be. It's a continuation bond. It's not, not a tax increase. It talks about that there's two different projects and when the election is. Then if you continue to scroll down and do the financial information, for those people, again, it reminds them that it's a $6.7 million bond. Talks about it being a levy. And then if we'll scroll down just a little bit, it compares the last bond, how much it costs for a $100,000 home, as opposed to what it's going to cost now for a person that has a $100,000 home or in increments of a hundred, if it's a 200,000 or 300,000, whatever price home you have. And again, if you don't own property and live in the district of Altus, uh, then, of course, you won't pay it directly. You may pay it indirectly with rent. Uh, but that, that has also come up about uh, who gets to vote. If you live inside Altus Public School District, not just Altus, the town or the city, but if you live in our district, that's who gets to vote. And those property owners are the ones that pay. So if we'll continue to scroll down, we can, then it gets more, more in depth. Okay, Altus Elementary School, the addition there. Uh, here's the one of the new renderings that we have. It shows this is the current building here. This is north. Right out here, there's a there's a currently a portable. This is where the new addition will go. It will connect to the building here and here. And we talked about when you come in the main building, you normally have to go through the cafeteria to get to this wing. This is going to allow us to go through a corridor without going through the cafeteria. Here's a more... Uh, a larger uh, rendering of the uh, uh, safe room, which is the storm shelter. And I'm not going to go in depth on it because we've already talked about it, but you can look at this. It's a better rendering than what we had. Uh, then we'll click on Kiwanis Park. That's the other part of the bond that's going to be spent. Uh, it tells uh, what all is going to be added. Then it has a good aerial view of the parking lot. The, again, the museum's here. Reminder that this parking lot will be able to be used also by the museum. And also we're gonna have green spaces here and here so that when there's tournaments, especially in the summertime, that teams that aren't currently playing, they can maybe go over there and hang out as a team. A family can hang out, make it really family oriented, but it shows that it's gonna be two buildings. We'll scroll on down right there. Uh, so uh, when you first walk in right here, this is the existing bleachers. It shows the restrooms, the concession, hospitality, all of those things. And then the actual uh, building over here has the locker rooms. We currently don't have locker rooms there, reminder. And the, the uh, hitting and pitching indoor facility that will go. Uh, also, just a reminder, the things I'm showing you now, it's not going to change drastically. But we meet with the architects every two weeks, so... The renderings will change a little bit, but the basic design is this. And if we scroll down, here shows a really nice rendering of how the entrance is going to look. Uh, there's the current Kiwanis Park sign. Uh, we've got the uh, arches to kind of mimic what we have at the high school. The brick color is going to be the same as the high school. This color will be the sandstone color that we have at the high school. Kind of the look of the cheer gym, all the different looks that we have. Uh, but this will be the main entrance into Kiwanis Park. The arches will say Kiwanis Park. Uh, so again, this is on our website. We'll scroll down, talks more about the election. Just give some dates, uh, the last day to register, and then voter registration, all the different, when you can early vote. Just a reminder, we're really pushing to everyone to vote early. Vote early, whatever day's good for you, try to vote. So in case something comes up on the 13th and you're unavailable to go vote, you've already voted. So we're encouraging everyone to go either 8th, 9th, 12th, and then you can vote on the 13th. And then frequently asked questions. As those questions come up, 
We're going to add those questions here and those so people can hopefully get their questions answered. It shows the district, how big the district is, and those if you live within that district, Altus Public School District, then that you do get to vote. All the polls will be open on the uh, 13th, the normal polls that you go to, but again, we are, we're uh, suggesting that people vote early at the courthouse, which is old uh, Washington Elementary School. But uh, let's scroll down, I believe we're about to all the information. But again, just send people to the website. It's a great place, aldispublicschools.com, and uh, the, you can get that answered. Hopefully you had a great start to your second semester uh, yesterday, and I wish you the very best semester. Hope everything goes well, and as always, may God continue to bless Altus Public Schools.